Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler and today we're playing Space Engineers. Today we're with the doctor. Hello. We are <laughs> here we are in a base um, that we have in in a private server. Um, we are designing the the base. Uh, okay, so here we see the doctor. He's working on some project he has with this um, uh, mosquito uh, ship a little big drill <laughs> yeah a but bigger bigger drill than, than the one we have here <laughs> yes <coughs> so um but the topic of this um, video would be this um this platform we have here this is a project i have been um wanting to to make like this um, elite dangerous type hangar with this um, gate or or hangar door and uh, yeah today we are going to show you guys um, what we've done so far so this this is like uh, one week of work maybe yeah well i think um we have been doing a lot of stuff not only this um, this uh, gate but all these r rooms we made down there but this yeah like one week we have mm. we have been um, doing this um okay so um we will demonstrate doctor what um, how it works so if you help me you can um go into the the ship that is currently in the hangar the first thing um, i want to show you guys is um, how the um, how the the ship will um, leave the the station so i have this button uh, panel here and i press the first one and now nothing happens okay and now <laughs> that's weird <laughs> ah because the one the one is to bring in okay let's press the uh, next one ah uh, this is this was the one so now it's no. opening the hangar you see and now the ship will start um the platform will ra rise all right so there you have it it's rising and now um it feels very cool inside the ship like yeah i i will make another so now the ship can take off so you can take off the the ship i don't know how to take off your ship. ah okay so let me let me in the the, the ship you will control now the panel okay let me take off and land again just to demonstrate um, what we are doing here so first let me take off okay there we have it we are i will go around the base so you can show the base from yeah from another perspective well the, the 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 base is a work in progress so far it's very uh there would be several um like uh, there's another set of uh, hangar well another hangar there like a hangar door and this one for now okay so i'm approaching now the the the, the landing pad and if you can land, the panels will display this uh, green arrow. If you cannot land, we will replace it with a with a um, forbidden sign, like you cannot park here. And yeah, so let me just um, land. And doctor, when I land, you can press the first button. This is the one that um, correspond to um, to retract the the platform 
the docking thing. Yes. Right. So there we are. We are parked now. And you see here he um, pressed the, the button. So now the, the ship is going down. It should be l something similar to Elite Dangerous. And look, the, the, the gate is closing. So now we are inside the, the base. So that's the, um, the docking sequence. And we, um, we are over with this one. So I would like to, to show how the, the sequence, uh, how we made the sequence with these buttons. So the thing is that this um, button panel is uh, binded to um, these um, timer blocks. And the timer blocks, they are, they have the sequence. So the first, the first uh, timers are for the, for the docking. So what they do is that the first timer will ret retract the, um, the the piston right you you see down here that we make like this piston contraption there are several pistons involved the vertical pistons are the ones uh, moving vertically the the platform the horizontal pistons are there just because i wanted to center the platform and since the the layout is um, even uh, we couldn't um, align them uh, by simply putting the, the, the vertical pistons in, in blocks. So that's why we have like these uh, horizontal pistons. So if we go to the, to, the lay, to, the, to the timer blocks, you can see here that, um, wait a second. Yeah, here you can see that the first timer block, um, if we go to setup actions, it has like the first uh, action is to activate the pistons and also um, start the timer block 2. And the timer block 2 is the one that has the, the gates, the, the hangar doors. So mm -hmm. that's... Um, the, the configuration of this timer block is to close the the hangar doors but this second timer block will only start after 10 seconds so this is what um, you have here in the delay right 10 seconds so this is this is how um, like when when we activate the like the first button it will activate the first timer block and the first timer block will retract the pistons and they and at the same time activate uh, start the the second timer block and then the second timer block will count 10 seconds and then close the hangar doors so this is how with one button we configure these two actions and these two actions happen at different times with some um, with mm -hmm. some seconds of delay and uh, for the other timers, it's the other way around, right? When we want to get out, then the first thing that is activated are the hangar doors that will open. And then 10 seconds later, the, the, the pistons will start moving vertically to, to place... It causes a little <coughs> bit of panic. <laughs> <laughs> yes, as well. <laughs> you have to leave the station soon after that. <laughs> Yeah. So um, yeah, that's that's the way how you do it. Uh, so we have like ideas about how to do this more automatically. Um, of course, you can do more with uh, programmable blocks, but I also wanted to show you um, what you can do with timer blocks. Like they are very handy when you don't want like to program things, but um, like in a simple way to coordinate different um, actions so that's the way we did it and we are well, we want to make like um, a several part um, series of videos where we um, because now 
what is pending now is like uh, this this part of the of the of the base here is like a, an airlock so the ship comes down here the the gates um, close and then this room right here um, it will pressurize and then one of these doors should open and then another contraption will take the 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 ship uh, by its backside and bring it to one of these um, hangars here like there's one here where I'm um, floating right now but then there's another one here and another one here and and I placed a, a rotor um, at the bottom here just under the the connector so we can rotate the ship so this is more or less what what happens right in elite dangerous like the, the ship goes down and then it rotates and goes to a parking place and this is what we wanted to do here but this this would be this is a work in progress <coughs> we will achieve this in in the next episodes mm -hmm. so i hope you like the video and hope to see you in the next one so stay tuned for the progress this is cyber settler signing off <laughs>